Hey, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and this is not necessarily going to be a tutorial. This is going to be more of an explanation of what Match Move is. And I understand that it, for some of you that have been uh, following my channel for a long time, probably already know what Match Move is and what it what you need to do to achieve it. But this is kind of more sort of to the audience that have never done it before, don't really understand what it is, and just trying to figure out what the hell Match Move is. And through my time doing match move, I've had to explain what it is. It actually can be quite difficult. So I am going to try to explain it as fast and as easy and as concise as possible. So let's go. Okay, so you've got this idea that you want to do. You want to add, go out, film some stuff, and you want to add some visual effects to it. So let's say you've gone out, you film this handsome guy here with his hat, with some tracking markers on his face and some green screen. Classic visual effects sort of setup. And... You've gone out, you filmed it, and now you've brought it into whatever 3D package that you're using. I'm using Maya because I just use it, and it's a pretty good industry standard. And yeah, you want to start adding some sort of like things to it. I don't know. Let's um, add some glasses, some super awesome disguise glasses. Cool. Perfect. And you've green screened it as well. So yeah, let's add some stuff into the background. And we've got, we've got a Shrek that we can use. Lovely old Shrek poking over the corner. And we're going to have an army of Shreks. Who knows? It's up to you. It's your project. Your ideas and anything can be made in visual effects. So getting to the point of like what match move is. So you've done all this and you're pretty happy with your setup with all your Shreks and all that sort of stuff. And your moustache glasses thing. And you go through to render it and you're like, oh, nothing's really working. It's not sticking. Nothing's it's all disjointed from the footage. So the clue into what match move is, is pretty much in the name. We need to match the move of the camera and the objects. So let me just hide all these Shreks because there's a lot of Shreks and I don't need that slowing me down. So if I go to my perspective, ding, and this is just our camera that we haven't match moved and it's just whatever. So we can see here, there's there's no movement. But we know when we filmed it, there's going to be sort of movement on the camera. It's going to be moving around because obviously you remember it and you can see it in the footage. So what we'd need to do, we'd need to match move it. So the first thing is usually working with cameras in with match move. I'm not going to go through the entirety of match move, just explaining what it is and what it does. So I'm just going to go to my match moved camera. No, I'm not. I'm just going to... Yes, I am. I'm just going to go to my match move camera. I actually want to go back to my perspective. So I've got my match move camera. And you can see we've got keyframes on my camera now. And you see when we went through the process of match moving, we can see now our camera is moving. And hopefully, if you've done it correctly, it will be matching the moves of the camera that you filmed with, i.e. probably your hands. So... Now this is going to give us the correct sort of 3D space. So now if we go back to our match move camera, and let's hide our glasses. And what we can see, we can see these sort of locators here, and this is kind of just leftover stuff from the match move process. These used to be 2D tracking markers, now converted into 3D space. So say now you've done that, let's bring back Shrek. And you can see now, He's, he's fitting with the footage. You can see that he's, he's sitting in a place. Obviously, he, we're not going to go through Roto and all that sort of stuff. It's explaining match move. But you can see now he's sort of working with the footage. So now even if you were... Uh, went back and uh, had your army of Shreks. You can see now it's working in comparison to where before it was just not. So we've now match moved the camera and it's now working. So let's get rid of these guys. So I guess then our second thing was we wanted to put those glasses on his face. So we've got our glasses. And this will come to the other sort of challenge that you have whilst match moving. And that's match moving, moving objects within the camera's sort of visual space. So... Oh, wrong ones. Need the non-match move ones. So now we can see, even though we've got the 
let's hide that. So even though we've got our camera working, but we need to now have these sort of glasses uh, working with the separate entity within the camera, which would be the object track. So it'd be kind of a sub group of the animation of it. So we also need, once we've done the camera, we would need to create a, an object track of that. And I've got plenty of tutorials on that. I won't go through on how to do that right now. It's like this. It's just an explanation of what match mood is. So, yeah, our second challenge is to sort that out. So, if I bring that back. we would track in our head. And you can see now we have this head working with our camera. If I just go back to my perspective view. And you can see now this is moving with the camera. So we've match moved, you can see that. Our camera's moving and our animation of the head. So we've matched moved the, the camera and the head. So now it should match, let me see it. Shrek is super happy that we've match moved it. Cool. So we've done that. Then once we have our, we can parrot our glasses and whatever out into his face. And but it's magically working. It's not magically working because you have to track it, do it all yourself. But hopefully. This is kind of giving you an idea of what match move is. I know there's like a million people on YouTube explaining what match move is and all that sort of stuff. At least you can learn from some like the industry professionals and some that's probably had to explain it a lot previously to people that have no idea as well. But that's pretty much it. And it gets more complicated. Obviously, this is like a pretty simple sort of scenario. I don't know. I don't know how many people want to add Shrek and add glasses to their faces, but. And obviously all this stuff overlapping, that's just, that's Roto-Comp later on. And you can see, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Match move, I don't, there's nothing, I don't want to really go on too long about it because it's just an explanation of what it is. It's just matching the move of the cameras and that sort of stuff. And it gets more complicated, but hopefully that has been helpful. I don't know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help. I know if this might be like pretty basic stuff for some of the stuff people that have been watching my tutorials on Match Move before, but don't forget, like, maybe you didn't really know what it was at one point. Maybe this would have been useful and you, you saw it somewhere else, but I'm just trying to check all those boxes, if you know what I mean. But yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it's been helpful and um, see you in the next one.